What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be doing clutch mod number two. And in a previous video, I removed the clutch spring and it made the clutch feel so much better. It felt a little heavier. It wasn't as feather light and it gave the car a way better engagement while driving. The shifting was a lot smoother and it was honestly awesome. I'm glad that I did it. Today, I'm going to be installing this little piece right here, which is a clutch stop. This is a really nice mod that a lot of people recommended me. I'm going to be trying it out today. Basically, in Volkswagens, uh, the clutch travel is super long, as you guys know, if you have one. And what this will do is shorten that up by putting this in the back of the pedal. So we're going to be removing the OEM clutch stop, which is relatively flat. It's like a little... Um, push pin kind of clip and we're going to be installing this in its place which should only take about a minute so let's get into it so we're down in the footwell of the car the clutch stop is right there this is the oem clutch stop that we're going to be removing this little rubber piece a lot of people use a trim tool you really don't have to honestly you could just kind of pull it off by well that was so easy i literally just oh i just dropped it <laughs> You can literally just remove it by hand. I literally put my fingers behind it and removed it. So now what we're going to do is take the new clutch stop and just push it up into the empty hole. It should just push right in with minimal force. There we go. And now the new clutch stop is in place and we're going to try and start the car. Now, I have the clutch stop in, guys. I didn't remove any of the washers. The clutch stop comes with a bunch of washers in to make it thicker so that the clutch pedal travel is a lot shorter. There are some people that have told me that they weren't able to start their cars when they put the entire clutch stop in the full piece with all the washers in because the car wouldn't detect that the clutch was fully depressed when starting it. Some other people have said that they had no problem starting the car at all. So I haven't tried to start the car yet. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I have my key in. I have, again, I haven't tried to start the car at all yet. So if it doesn't recognize it, I'm going to pull out one washer, then try and start it again until the car does recognize that the clutch is all the way in. So clutch all the way in from what I could push down neutral. Let me see if the car actually starts. Okay. Guys, I had zero issues, so I'm happy because the clutch travel feels a lot better, in my opinion, and the car started with no problems, so I'm going to be taking it on a very quick drive just around my neighborhood just to make sure that it feels good, and I'll uh, see you guys then. All right, so we're going to go on a quick drive. Okay, so just getting out in first gear, wow, uh, it's crazy how much quicker the clutch catches. I know for shifting, this is going to be fun. You'll be able to power shift a lot easier. One thing that I'm noticing though, I'm gonna have to get used to the gears again because just trying to get the car to drive smoother. But definitely takeoff in first gear is a lot easier and a lot quicker. And again, I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna go on a crazy drive. I have a couple things to do today so I don't have any real time to just go out and enjoy. But first, second, yeah, honestly, wow, this feels, a lot better i feel like the clutch should have been this short from the factory that's one complaint that a lot of people have always had about volkswagens is just how long the clutches are uh the clutch and there's a lot of dead travel too you know there's a lot of dead space in the clutch that doesn't do much but honestly no this feels honestly guys i'm very happy for what this cost me like 10 or 15 dollars 100 worth it you guys should definitely get one Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude the video. A very short little video and a nice little clutch mod that honestly, so far, again, I drove the car for two minutes. It felt really good and it's only like a $10 or $15 mod. I'll leave a link to the clutch stop in the description. I got it off of eBay. Um, super easy to install. The quality feels pretty good. And honestly, if the thing were to like break or the like spongy part of it were to like get messed up, I can always order another one. It's not a big deal. But so far, the clutch pedal feels so much better. Uh, the travel is a lot shorter. And honestly, I like it. And now the next and final mod that I'm gonna be doing for the clutch is something that many people in my clutch spring video recommended, and that's removing the delay valve in the clutch system. I'm gonna be doing that hopefully this coming weekend. So maybe not my next video, it might be the one after it. I'm not 100% sure yet what videos I'm gonna be doing in between, but maybe my next video, you'll be seeing me remove the delay valve in the clutch system and I'll let you guys know how that goes and how that feels. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe unless YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.